you, will you go hard or go home today? Will you go hard or go home? Beautiful. A round of applause for yourselves, please. So, um, it's my absolute honor and pleasure and delight to host you all. Thank you so much for having me. And I'll, I promise you all, you know what? Fasten your seatbelt and get ready for departure because this flight will be devoid of turbulence. So, a round of applause for yourselves, please, as our, our, the people are not supposed to be in the room. They've cleared the room. So, now it's you and me. Mm -hmm. So, I'd love to call on stage Omotola Omotayo. I don't know if she's here, please. I'd love to call on stage Omotola Omotayo. So, she's a community manager. She's also the founder of Elegance Media and Outreach. Please, a round of applause. I want to give her flowers so much. So, please, as she makes her way to the stage. I want you all to please give her a round of applause because it's really not easy. And she's going to be teaching us based on the topic, go hard or go home. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi SCA Queens. Okay, awesome. Um, okay. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking on a topic, go hard or go home. Let's leave that part. The main part of the topic, building a thriving career in the AI era. Um, let's start with this. I'm Omotala Yunis Omotayo. I'll say, let me start with, I'm an SEO queen. You know, right? Yeah. <laughs> OK. I'm the community manager at Outreach, and also one of the program organizers. I'm the founder of Elegance Media. Um, we help organization businesses to have an awesome digital landscape and also we train people. And I'm a women and DEI empowerment advocate. So this session is going to be an interactive one. You have a lot to learn and I also want us to like, so how do you ensure that, so how do you ensure that you have a thriving career in this era that we have. So the first question, the first exercise I'm going to ask you, when I talk about um, AI, what, what is that first thing, like first word or words that comes to your mind? Okay, let's go one after the other. Yeah. Machine, okay. Effective, can you speak louder please? Okay, awesome. I like that part. You. <laughs> I was expecting that response. So when you think about AI, the first thing that comes to most of our brain is, oh, charge it to be. Some people will say robots. Right? So, okay, awesome. That's good. I like this. Okay. I can't see my slide very well. I don't know. So let's start with how, like, what AI is, right? and its impact in the tech ecosystem. AI is just, is more than chat DTP, as she said. AI is more than a uh, machine, as she said. AI is more than efficiency, as she said. AI is the combination of these things and many more. And do you know the funniest thing? Okay, I think I'm using that phrase more often now. The funniest thing is that this, ecos this world that we have now, like we, where we are now in the tech ecosystem, things are changing. Everybody, every career path is kind of moving to the AI. Like everybody's moving to the AI. So now you as a tech queen or someone who has or wants to have a tech career, how do you ensure you use all these privileges that comes with AI to shape your own career, right? How do you ensure you build like a good career with this ecosystem? The first thing I need you to know is, yes, we all know AI is everywhere. You need to understand, as a community builder, even I as a community builder, I need to understand the principle, the mathematics, the background, everything. Like, nobody's saying you have to go and study AI from beginning to the end or build an AI machine. But you need to understand the principle of AI, especially in the career path you have chosen for yourself or you want to go into. So as a community manager, I can think of it in this way. Okay, I need to get, um, collect data uh, of my community members so that I can use that to make informed decision. How does AI come in? 
I want to, okay, I'm doing a lot of things. I want to use AI to um, arrange my tasks to do or to put in all my tasks and ensure that I follow it or my team follow it the right way. But you, the main thing I'm trying to explain is you need to be familiar with the principles of AI and you need to understand the tools. Somebody mentioned ChatGPT. There are other AI tools, right? We are going to be going into it. So you need to understand, as a data scientist, which of these tools will you be able to use or is necessary for you to be effective or for you to stay on top of your game as a woman in tech. And most importantly, because AI world is now you know, evolving, right? You need to stay up to trend. Hmm? Okay, so you need to stay up to trend about AI and automation in general. I've mentioned before that AI is not just machine. It's not just about effectiveness. It's not just about charging TV. It's this and many more, and it is going to keep evolving. So the second exercise before I go into, okay. So the fear now is, I think there's something missing there. The fear now is everybody is saying, AI hey, is the next thing, AI hey, might take my job. I think at a point now, I'm not going to be effective again. Even we as community managers, people will say, what are you doing that AI cannot do? Is it not just to focus content? I'll just schedule it, it will go live. But can AI be Omotala? I'll get there. So. AI is transforming the whole ecosystem. Either you are a data scientist, you are a community manager, a front-end developer. Even you, you know that even that website that you want to build, right, there is a way you can go online and get one or two things before you know it, you are done. So if, if you close your eyes, um, there is this, um, um, they will say, if you sleep, you do what? So be, before you know it, AI is, every, AI is already everywhere, not before you know it, and it is growing. So, with everything that we've explained, yes, we know AI is here, and it has maybe come here to stay, and the ecosystem is already using it. So, will you rather stay back and say, hmm, AI can do it, I don't need to stress myself. So, will you rather go back or you go add? Everybody is adopting it. Community manager, front-end developer, whatever role, everybody is adopting it. And... Um, for you to have a successful career as a in tech ecosystem in general, I'm going to say you should not go home. I mean, you should not sleep. Do you understand? You have to go hard. You have to go hard because you have to double your efforts. Because that small little thing that you think you can do, AI can do it. So how do you make it like, okay, now this is a not allowed to work. This is not AI's work. It's just the same way you want to prepare your CV and AI can or you want to post something online, AI can do it. Or you want to write that article, AI can do it. But you are going to be able to like differentiate between that article that AI has written and that other article that you have written. So that means you have to put in extra effort. Now let's get to the second exercise. So I will say you have to go home. Watch out for this book. This book is coming out soon. Go add or go home. So I will say go, go add. Okay, so now I think I've... We've explained some of the fears, right? But I still want to hear from you because I know some people are like this beautiful lady there and they still have one or two fears about AI. So what is your biggest fear about this AI era that we have? What is your biggest fear? I need someone from the back. Yes, ma'am. Your... Yes, please. Hmm. So she's scared of the change that comes with AI. So she thinks, what, what are you doing currently? So she, she thinks as a product designer, she might need to change to something else because now AI is everywhere. Awesome. Another person from this angle, at the back, yes. Yes. I see it. Most of, it, most of us in this room can relate to it. Now you want to apply for an interview, and you'll be like, 
Hey, I can do it. You want to you you want you want to submit an article at work, and you be like, I will use AI. Any small thing, I will use AI. It is good, but that's actually, and I like the fact that she pointed that out because some people see it as a strength. Hey, I can do it. Before you know, tax of one hour, I'll do it under ten minutes. They will even copy and paste it like that with the word, this phrase. Please edit this, but they will not edit. <laughs> so that's actually a very valid fear. And I think that sums it up because all of us can relate. Thank you so much for that. Slide, please. Um, okay. So now that we both, like we all understand the fear, somebody wants to change our job. Somebody thinks she should change her job. Somebody is to relent on using AI, and she feels like, hmm, at a point, I might not even know anything again, because all I need to do is just go and copy and paste. So how can you intentionally, I'm using my word, intentionally again, how can you intentionally build a thriving career in this era of AI? Remember, AI is here. The ecosystem is turning towards us. In fact, we are there already. So you as a person, as a woman in tech, you want to be intentional about building a thriving career in this area. So the first thing, I have mentioned it, as a community builder, in your different career paths, you need to go back, yes, AI is there, but leave AI aside. You need to do your primary assignment and familiarize yourself with the concepts of AI. How can AI be used in my field in an effective way? Understand. I'm not saying after understanding you should relent to. So understand it and intentionally develop your ability to, on, to analyze the data, the different patterns that... Okay, I, I told someone this recently. I said, this tax that I gave you, go and check it on uh, Germany. Go and check it on ChatGPT. You will get like the answer there. But I told her, that is just to spark your brain, like to give you like a source of direction. Now, edit it in the way it should be. So you can, for that particular person now, that is a very good, like she understands the pattern through AI, and she's going to intentionally edit that where it should be, adding her own, let's say, omotola sauce, adding your own human sauce, right, to it. Okay, um, my slide, please. Okay, so stay up to date with the trend. You should be able to identify the patterns. And as someone in this ecosystem that is ready to not just start a career and maybe plan to change tomorrow, because that's one of our fear, you need to be ready to constantly learn. Like this ecosystem, because we now have, it's not going to take your work. Oh. AI is not going to take your work, trust me because you are not AI, you are not a machine. You know, the same way I would say, hey, I can come here and say, good afternoon, everyone. Hope you are enjoying the SCS Summit. Omotala will come and say, hi, everyone. Hi, Shayo, hi, Layo, hi. I'm going to add some extra sauce that unlike the machine that has already been programmed to just, you know, give a generic word, bring one or two concepts from one or two sites. You as a human right, you are going to be able to like harder extra source. So you need to explore platforms like what I mentioned, LinkedIn, um, Coursera. You need to start learning. Remember I said you need to understand the concept that is needed in your own field. Maybe through AI or how you can be better. So you are not just coming as, hmm, just do the normal basic things, right? Then most importantly, so I'm expecting someone to ask me, why do I have to attend conference? We are talking about AI era. You have to attend conference because you want to network and collaborate. I was speaking with the volunteers recently, and they said, hey, I'm, I'm attending SCA summit, and I don't really know how to network. And I'm like, I'm a community builder, founder of Elegance Media. Oh, this is what I can do. And she said, I'm a designer. I've been doing this, this, she shared some of our projects, and I'm like, I think we can work together. Do you understand? And when she showed me some of our projects, it was actually something that I needed right now for a client. So before you know it, 
If you ask AI, where can I get my ne next big job? AI is just going to make suggestions for you. Why don't you go to this website? Why don't you apply for this job? I encourage you to give it your best. Do you want me to help you with your CV? <laughs> but when you attend conference, Omotela or any other person that you are meeting will tell you, oh, what can you do? How have you been doing it? Any other projects you've worked on before? What part of this career path are you looking at? You know, you have like more internal, in, intentional question, um, conversation. And from there, you can even tell the person, I'm scared of this thing. You can even talk to the person, I'm scared, hmm. Some people, will, some people that have not worked on practical things, they will just use a high to submit, you know. Somebody can, if I put out this application that I need a kind of designer, I will get a lot of applications, right? And if I'm not careful as a person that needs someone to work, I will get someone that cannot do it. I've experienced it. I've put out a lot of application, and I've gotten application that, oh, you will know it's AI. But when you see that intentional one, you'll be able to like pick it out. And you can, ask, you can get that by attending um, conference and intentionally networking with these people. Remember the other points that we mentioned. You have to familiarize yourself with the concept of AI, how you can bring your own natural skills what is happening in this, um, let's say as a community manager, I need to keep track of the data of, uh, the data of my community members, I need to um, come up with these initiatives, I need to work on this program, you know, all those things. How can AI help me to stay up to date? It's not like I'm saying, oh, AI doesn't exist, but I'm going to merge what I know, my own skills, with those concepts of AI and become the best on that game. Do you understand? I'm going to just become the best. Imagine what AI can do. And I'm ready to put that skills that I know. I'm ready to like merge it together. AI no near me. So um, there are some tools that can help you to stay up to date, that can help you to thrive in your chosen career path. These are some tools. I've mentioned some tools that I use as a program manager, a lot of other tools like that. So your chat GTV is there too. <laughs> Yeah. So as a program manager, as a developer, a data scientist, a cloud engineer, whatever career path you've chosen for yourself, technical writer, anything, anything you've chosen for yourself, there are lots of tools, AI tools, that can help you to not just stay effective, that can help you to grow, that can help you to thrive in this AI era. Please note, AI is not here to take your job. AI is only here to even make you better playing this game. It's not a game, but you understand the kind of game I, I'm trying to explain. So leverage on these AI tools and just go there and get it done. So we've mentioned tools, and I mentioned the other time about the skills that you have, transferable skills, soft skills that you have. Um, I mentioned the other time that AI can only be AI, can only be machine. But AI is not you, and AI is not going to take your job. So leverage on that. Own your communication skills. For the past few weeks now, there's been a lot of communication at work for the program, the SCA summit, and so on and so forth. OK, so this is the last exercise before I round up. So with everything Omotala have said so far, with everything you have learned through this session, what can you say as I do about the potentials that we've mentioned about AI? Okay, so it gives you like insights, like a pathway that you can follow. Awesome, thank you. Yes, awesome, thank you. And these are many more, before they send me out of here, these are many more, uh, like the, a lot of things you can benefit from this area that we have now. Don't forget, AI is not here to take your job. It's only going to make you better. So you can build a thriving career in the AI era by it just requires your dedication, your intentionality, hard work, and your willingness to adapt. Thank you so much. I don't know if there's any question. Do I still have room to ask? Okay. Any question, both online, both online and um, any question. These are my platforms, and I have a YouTube channel that talks about um, building career paths in tech or starting in tech, and also share my experience there as well.
Sir. I've heard of the use of prompt engineering to be able to get better responses from AI. Would that also help? Yes. Yes. But you have to remember everything I've mentioned. Even if it's helping you, you still need to add your own. You still need to play your game right. Don't leverage, you only have leverage on it to get better. Don't leverage on it to just get the job done. Yeah. Any online question? Any other question in the house? Okay, thank you so much. And please feel free to follow me, ask me questions in the DM on any of my posts, and I'm open to like answering you. Thank you so much. A round of applause, please. We'll give it DJ, please, thank you. But I'm gonna conquer myself.